got that one. <laughs> wow, did he whack that thing. Whoa. Hey folks, I'm Mark Mullen on Midwest Outdoors. I'm in northern Minnesota in my kayak, and today I'm out on a lake that I've not been to in a very long time. My goal is to minimize my gear while maximizing potential to have a multi-species trip. Stick around, I'm gonna show you a few of the approaches that I like to take when I'm faced with this kind of situation. And if all goes well, I'll get a few more like that before I'm done today. Wow, are they smacking that popper this morning. Oh, Northern, get up here. So I don't know if, uh, if I'm supposed to get a multi-species trip in two casts, but it uh, worked out pretty well. Back to back, I got a bass, and then I got a, this would actually be a perfect northern for eating. I was gonna take any home to eat. You know, that's one thing too I should mention is, I catch just as many northerns every year on poppers as I do bass. I think sometimes there's a, a stigma associated with poppers in that that they're primarily for bass because they work so well. That northern clearly couldn't resist. <laughs> oh, a <laughs> big splash. <laughs> oh, get up here. I wasn't expecting. Oh, one more, he said. Get up here. Come on now. Wow. Oh. It's a beautiful bass. He's a heck of a fighter. Get up here. Whoa. Come on now. Hey, get up here. Go on home. One of my favorite lures that I like to use when I'm exploring a new lake that I haven't fished before or a lake that I've not fished in a long time is the Yozuri 3D RX Popper. At two and five eighths inches, it's small enough to catch finicky fish, but it also gets the attention of aggressive fish. I'm going with a bone pattern this morning because that lighter color against that lighter sky will actually make it obscure enough that the fish will still hit it and make it look so it's natural enough as well. Got here. Not sure if it's whoa. <laughs> Dandy Northern. Get up here. There we go. Whoa, that's a good one. Oh, this one's got a full belly. Oof. Torpedo. That feels like a good fish. It's got a little bit of salad. It's still a good fish. Get up here. There we go. Dandy. Take that. All right. That's a beautiful bass. Oh. Let me show you that fish. Beauty. And I'll show you the adjustment I made that I'm pretty sure is what contributed to that fish biting. So one of the staples when I'm out on a lake that I've not fished in a while or I've never fished before is some kind of plastic. And so today I brought two different size plastic worms. I've got your traditional five inch style Senko and then I've got a seven and an eighth inch. But what was going on is I was getting a lot of smaller bass on the smaller worm. And so I adjusted and right away caught a pretty nice bass. Immediate adjustment, bigger worm, bigger fish. Whoa, big splash. Get up here, splash. Come on, there we go. Perfect. You gotta love these hidden gems in the Northwoods. Northern's bass just offer great kayak opportunities. Get up here, buddy. They really do offer a lot of great opportunities. Get in with a kayak where you can't really get in with a boat sometimes. 
beautiful fish. <laughs> I'm going for a ride. I didn't even pay for this bus. Holy smokes. <laughs> oh, wait, it's not a bus, it's a bath. Get up here. Nice fish. Real nice fish. Oh, <laughs> oh, that's a dandy bass. Excellent. Whoa, 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 hold on there, fish. Another awesome kayak fishing adventure. If you're interested in learning more about Yo Zuri lines and lures, go to yo-zuri.com. I'm Mark Mall, Midwest Outdoors. We'll be right back.